Hello everybody, LEGO Sonic Fan 17 here and I'm back with another video and today I'll be attempting a Matt Lounge style commentary. Let's just hope this goes well. And if you have no idea who Matt Lown is, he's basically a British YouTuber who plays Kerbal Space Program. And if you have no idea what Kerbal Space Program is, Google it. So I'm launching the rocket now with a single booster on the side, which I don't know why I like the design of, you know, the Atlas V. You can tell this rocket is heavily based off the Atlas V and that small little booster is gone now. But yeah, I don't know. I just like the design of the mono booster on rockets. And I am making it to the upper atmosphere now. It's about to show the message. There it is. Reached a 10 kilometer altitude. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, who's excited for James Webb? I definitely am. James Webb is gonna be the best telescope in, in the history of humanity. It's, it's probably going to change the way we see our universe, like, basically forever. Oh, yeah, I also jettisoned the first stage. I don't know if you saw that, but I, yeah. Uh, but James Webb, I keep thinking of the telescope. I am very excited. I hope nothing happens to the launch. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that nothing will happen to the launch like it, it like it won't like fail to reach orbit or something like you know stuff like that i i'm i just realized i said like like a lot <laughs> i'm not really good at commentary videos guys okay so you're just gonna have to bear with me uh so i already said my jupiter encounter not my jupiter encounter why do i want to keep saying jupiter encounter oh my god i've filmed this commentary like five times and i've and i've said jupiter encounter every single time no my neptune encounter probably i keep saying jupiter encounter because i actually set a course to jupiter like before like when doing this mission i kept setting a course to jupiter not on accident on purpose because i was like oh i can be realistic with this i can get a gravity assist from the the biggest planet of the solar system that's gonna fling me all the way to neptune it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be really realistic and everyone's gonna love it not only a neptune flyby but also a jupiter flyby and maybe a cheeky callisto flyby here and there but no jupiter kept flinging me out of the solar system it was really frustrating so i just decided hey why not just the direct uh transfer to neptune yeah you you could see me steal a bit of the fuel from the probe to like you know have enough fuel to make that uh you know jupiter no jupiter Neptune encounter happened. So yeah, that happened. The, uh, I stole some fuel from the transfer stage, which is really funny. I should have put the the extra fuel back on the uh, on the probe. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I just exited Earth's sphere of influence right there. And yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to Mexico for like nine days. It's gonna be pretty cool. Should I vlog over there? I want to vlog over there, but like not a lot of people watch those videos, which is really sad. But uh, I don't know. It's like a 50 50 for me. Like I want to vlog, but at the same time, I don't want to vlog. You know what I'm saying? There's Neptune right there. There's Triton. I only put Triton because I didn't want to bother making the rest of the moons. Because come on, Triton is the only moon that matters, right? I accidentally set it on an impact in uh, on an impact trajectory there, and I was, you know, messing around with the uh, encounter until I finally kind of like forced uh, a Triton encounter, which was actually very lucky. So yeah, there's a transfer stage, that other little arrow right there. That's why I detached the transfer stage before, you know, the uh, actually making the encounter. So the transfer stage didn't enter the sphere of influence of Neptune. I don't know why I did that. I just looked cool at the time. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna see Neptune right now. It's gonna be really sick. And yeah, you, you hear this music. 
I actually don't hear anything because I'm, you know, I'm watching the video while it's on mute because I don't want any distractions, like the music distracting me or whatever. But yeah, it's the Space Flight Simulator theme remix. I just found it on YouTube and I was like, hey, it's, this is really cool. Steph should listen to this and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, maybe I should add it to the video. There's Neptune right there. It's Neutralizer's planet pack. It actually isn't. It's my own planet pack. I made this entire planet pack myself, if you're wondering. I posted like a picture of Saturn like one day, like in a YouTube thing, like not a video. It's one of those things, kind of like an Instagram post. There's Triton. Kind of like those Instagram posts and a lot of people were like, wait, is that Saturn? And like, I was like, nah, that's Earth. They, I feel like they actually believe me. Like, no, that was sarcasm, guys. Do you not know what sarcasm is? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. There goes Triton. I flew past the moon already. Bye, Triton. Have a nice life. I'm probably not going to visit you for like another hundred years. Who knows? And yeah, I am now exiting the sphere of influence of Neptune. Well, not yet, but I'm about to in like right now. Okay, so the video is about to end. So yeah, uh, everything, all of my social medias are in the description. I'm probably going to put the planet back in the, descri in the description. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody and goodbye.